So these kids are representing the short finned eels who are indigenous to the Mary Creek. They live in the creek and then they travel out right round through the Port Phillip Bay and swim up to the Coral Sea and then they breed and um, mate and then the little tiny elvers swim all the way back down again and up the Yarra and up the Mary Creek back to where they first began. So they're extraordinary creatures. And then you come to a clump in the middle because you see a kingfisher. Okay, so it's like danger, you're treading water, what are we going to do? The Spencer Street live on the creek, they have a whole, they integrate Kingfisher Festival into their whole curriculum, so it's a really important part of their environmental program and their arts program, and really every every subject they link Kingfisher into. Are they eelheads? Are they for the Kingfisher Festival? This is the eelhead dress and we're eel in the Kingfisher. Yeah, and um, this is what the eels look like. You know, Kingfisher is about community participation and having everyone part of the ritual. So it's not so much as a performance as a ritual. So everyone has a turn to stomp the earth and and swim on the creek and have their turn. So what's it like being eels? Yeah? It's quite fun. It's really fun. are the traditional owners or custodians of this land. By offering you a gum leaf tonight, we believe that makes you welcome from everything that tops the trees to the roots of the earth. And tonight, you'll join with us to honour our ancestors who have nurtured this land for many, many thousands of years. And we, as the traditional custodians of this land, offer you a hearty welcome Wamunjika, Yemen, Kundi Bit, Wurundjeri Palik, which simply means, welcome to the land of the Wurundjeri people. The Merry Creek flows free. Sacred kingfishers, polebonk frogs, short finned eels, long necked tortoises, and skinks thrive in their abundant home alongside the traditional caretakers, the Wurundjeri. We see the 
that they are protectors of place. A judge on your legs horizontal, like that. Okay. So we're mixing up the yellow. This is Wurundjeri. We're doing this the same as Wurundjeri people. Okay. And putting that on with a stick like that. The white Wurundjeri people living in the mountain country. Okay. Kids from this area here. This is their traditional country now. They're Australian natives. We're indigenous natives. So we're portraying Australian indigenous native themes with Australian native kids. Since white settlement, Melbourne was settled in 1838 and look, by 1860 there was a heap of manure going into it so it had turned from a, a, what was described as a clear pellucid stream into a, um, basically an open sewer. Kingfishers Lee. It's only in the last uh, 10 or 20 years that the general public's really began to begun to appreciate the value of our river environs and began to begun to um, see them as a resource rather than something that um, is just like a tip that you chuck everything in. And then these little kingfishers come over and they kind of lift us up. They lift our spirit up and we go to the um, mother kingfisher and she brings our spirit to heaven. To the Aboriginal heaven which is called Tundabalik. And so after years of hard work, the creek and her creatures are gradually coming back to life. Fisher Festival never ever pretends that the work has been done and that we can rest on our laurels now because the King Fisher has come back. There is enormous work to be done. What the King Fisher Festival does is remind people about that, remind people about the beauty of our planet and the earth and remind people about that, that their contribution to that and their input into that is vital for the kingfishers to be here and for, and for the creek to continue the restoration pro process that needs to keep happening and keep evolving. I'd like to just see it spread up the creek like a Jeff Kennett freeway, instead of a Jeff Kennett freeway, if you know what I mean. Riparian corridors, water corridors th right throughout Melbourne linking up along the Maribyrnong, along the Merry Creek, along the Yarra, so that people can move through these veins of the city, public green spaces.
There were some children and teachers working up in a classroom at Ceres and they heard this big thud on the window of Ceres and went running around to see what it was and a little bird had flown into it that was stunned. They picked it up and lo and behold it was a, it was a kingfisher. It was a, it was a sacred kingfisher which was a bird that hadn't been seen around the inner suburbs of Melbourne for a very, very long time. So after a while the little bird recovered and off it flew again. But it proved to everybody here at Ceres and to the wider community that the work that was being done by environmentalists and groups and communities and individuals to restore the creek to its, its um, original habitat was actually working and that um, the, the results were becoming very evident because the kingfishers were returning. And it was worth a celebration, it was worth a party and here we are partying away today for the seventh time to celebrate that fact.